Hello, we did our project on the Chinese oppression of Tibetan people, but first, what is Tibet? Is it this, the Tibet Autonomous Region, this, an area known as Greater Tibet, or this, another projection of how large Greater Tibet really is? But what is certain is that Tibet has a unique and different culture from the rest of China. Take a look at this Tibetan writing, for example. It is clearly different from these Chinese characters. In addition to language, Tibet has a rich culture of Buddhist monasteries and monks across the Tibetan plateau compared with China's largely secular society. At the heart of Tibet's story is the Dalai Lama, who has been a religious and political leader of the Tibetan Buddhists for over half a century, beginning when he was a young boy and continuing throughout his adulthood. But for all of Tibet's beauty, the region has been home to its share of struggles. This began when Chinese communist forces invaded Tibet in 1950 and uprisings by the Chinese people in 1959 and 2008 had brought swift crackdowns from the Chinese government. This complex history has been a source of attention for Tibet, with the Dalai Lama meeting with multiple popes Nelson Mandela, Barack Obama, and the European Parliament, among many more. But Tibet has also been a social cause with Tibetan freedom concerts, with many musical groups occurring throughout the 1990s. But more recently, things inside Tibet have gotten worse. The Chinese government have responded harshly to protests made by Tibetans, calling for more autonomy and self-rule. Many Tibetans, over 100, have gone past peaceful protests to broadcast their messages to the outside world. A growing number of Tibetans have been self-immolating or setting themselves on fire to protest the overreach of the Chinese government in Tibet. So what are the next steps? They're hard to tell, but the situation in Tibet does not seem to be improving. Thank you.